Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with a Pike and Shot mod. So, before we go ahead and start the new World War One series, we haven't even figured out what nation at this point, but let's go ahead and do some more custom battles. And one nation that has been requested often but has never won a vote is Spain, so why not go ahead and test out Spain? And obviously, since it's Pike and Shot, we gotta form one of these Tercios. Or tercio, uh, however you want to pronounce it. So we got pikes in the center, and we've got musketeers around, and then also here in the center, for a bit of flavor, I've put sword and buckler men. But let's go ahead and quickly go through the army. So if we start all the way over here, we've got 24 pounder cannons. Then we got musketeers, we got four of these, all the same. Then we got four of these um, pikemen, we got an invisible flagman. This is a part of why the mod creator didn't want me to do a campaign, or he thought it was too early. Well, not necessarily this, but stuff in the campaign that makes it difficult. Not that we've got the invisible man to carry the flag. Kind of pointless being the invisible man and carrying the flag, but because you'll, you'll show everyone where you are when you're supposed to be invisible. And then, of course, we've got these sword and buckler men. And as we continue through areas, we've got the general. Also note here, I said we were Spain, but in fact, we are the Iberian Union. As we are in a personal union with Portugal at the moment. Not that that's going to affect the um, this custom battle much. Then we've got another 24 pounder. Over here, then, we've got uh, the King's Guard, so Guardia de la Rey. Uh, and there's the pikemen of the King's Guard. So we got the King's Guard over there, and over here we've got the Irish. So we've got the Tercio Irlandia. And the pikes in the back. And if we go further out here, we've got the cavalry. So first we've got the King's Cavalry. Um, and then next to them, we've got the Heavy Dragoons. Or the Heavy Arquebusiers. And they're them. And with that, let's go ahead and start. So, we're finding the French. Because I thought that would be appropriate. And we'll quickly go ahead and look through there. Obviously, since it's the French, I'm gonna have to give them some, um, what's it called? Some musketeers. However, these are not actually the musketeers. These are the gendarmes de, de la garde. What we're looking at is the musketeers. Yes, here we go. Here we've got the musketeers. Musketeers de la garde. Difficult and elite units. Then we've got the French 24 pounder. Wait, did I give myself... Yes, I was worried that I gave myself 12, 18 pounders. Obviously, we will pound the hardest. Here's some French matchlock infantry. And some heavy pikes in the back. They also have elite units over here. Here we go. So, Swiss pikemen. And uh, some Swiss musketeers. Wait, what was... Ah, here we have another thing. So, this is actually historically correct. Swiss, um, the Swiss are famous for, you know, well, chocolate, making clocks, and very long fingers. Like, abnormally long. That's more than a meter. That's one and a half meter long fingers. So they can, I don't know, uh, scrape the bottom of barrels and stuff. Another cannon. We've got some more French matchlock infantry. Didn't spend much time setting up the French force. Um, oh yeah, we've got foot musketeers as well. I'm a little bit worried that I gave them too many elite units. The musketeers and the Swiss are really good. But then again, the um, formation that broke the French dominance of the battlefield was the Spanish, and their Tercio. So, let's hope that we can achieve the same in this. 
So, yeah, I wanted to choose a map that wasn't just grassy flatland again, so it will always be kind of the same. Uh, however, advancing in this kind of terrain is, well, quite hard, so um, we'll probably not be advancing that much. I will, however, order the troops forward. And we do need to take this wood, so... Kingsguard and the Irish Tertio will advance together with the two Dragoon units will advance towards there and then the general should ride with our formation as it marches forward here hopefully this will work um, but who knows who knows? Given where the French are coming from, it looks like a lot of them will be marching towards the hill. Which will be great, because uh, that means they will run into all these obstacles. We got French cavalry coming very close. So the musketeers of the guard are closing in. And I will try and strike them in the flank as quickly as possible. So we're ordering forward the guard. Okay, we go. They shot at us first, which isn't great. And now the unit's kind of messed up as he was moving through here. Okay, that. Okay, that, this did not go well. Where our unit is also quickly losing morale. Okay, well we got the Irish. The Irish will come in and aid here. We're kind of out of line, out of step with the French formations. As it's seemingly most of them are going towards the hill. No, 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 don't fire, you'll be firing straight into the house. Move forward to fire on these. So, this is what I was talking about in the last one with the pistols. Because the pistols, you have to stand still for the units to fire their pistols. Which, of course, you know negates the entire point, you want them to be able to fire on the go, similar to what these uh, um, musketeer units are. So it should really be the other way around, because firing pistols take so long to set up. I definitely need to turn some of my uh, the Irish units over here because in the long run it definitely looks like the enemy is gonna win this fight I'm gonna redraw the units also we need a boost of morale here so I'm gonna send over the general looking at how the enemy is moving here I'm gonna turn the entire tercio to kind of go on a flank like that okay so the Irish musketeers are aiding in the fight here and they're doing s good damage on the enemy okay let's move forward again with the cavalry now supported by the general who has moved who's shot all oh the guards the guards would be ready for a charge then although I do want to fight the heavy uh, harkabusiers I want them to fire a bit more. If we can get one more shot off. Oh, and the Irish firing now. If you could fire once more. I would like that. Oh, you're not loaded. What were you doing then as we were riding forth? 
At this rate, at this rate, the enemy will fire first. Yes, there we go. That's what we want to see. Oh, the enemy is charging over here. Move behind the pikes. Have the Irish retreat behind the pikes. Let's not move the general that close, shall we? Okay, the uh, enemy cavalry was sent off. Let's turn our attention over to these cavalry units. The gendarmes. Which have ridden into our pikes. Okay, we've got loads of enemies coming up. It's time to uh, tell the cannons to set up. The guards are kind of in out of step with the rest of the army here. Okay, there we go. They're broken. We'll order the cavalry back. What's left of it? The general will stay up here. Let's see. The uh, Irish kind of need to reform. Ooh, they lost a lot of men in one of those musketeer units. As we're actually... these guys are actually hidden. I want to wait and let the enemy get a bit closer before we fire. Our men are running, sir. What? There wasn't even a fight. Right. We still have some shots with these guys. I want to see... Okay, they're close. They're close. What are you going to fire at? They're turning to fire at my pikes, are they? We managed to shoot three of them! With that. Oh, they were shooting at the Irish, were they? Okay, the Irish are firing now. They've got one musketeer unit out here. That one could be ample target for my heavy harquebusiers. French general supports his units over here. We've got cannonballs striking over here. We'll fight here for a bit, but uh, we should withdraw towards the main formation. Also, as it's mostly musketeers that are moving in now, I will deploy the musketeers to form a musketeer line in front. Okay, the guard units are coming under very heavy fire here from the enemy. Holding on for now. But for how long? Let's see if you can move forward. Take, take a shot. The thing is, as soon as these guys move back, the full force of the enemy will ram in to the main formation. Charge. I'll order the general to move in closer to support. Hopefully it breaks the unit. Oh, the enemy is getting very close over here. Switch to canister, if you please. Put up the fire. Can we get some canister going? Nice. Although I wish... Wished you fired towards the center of the unit. Oh, troops heavily engaged here. It's the musketeer, guard musketeer. They just charge straight into that. My heavy cavalry is not actually doing that well up there. As much as I want, you know what? As much as I want to support with my general to actually win this fight over here, which we didn't even do. Uh, I need to get back here to defend the main line. Oh, 
We need to move the units in. The melee units need to move forward. And I need to get my general back here to support. Can I get canister to be fired here? And then the musketeer units in the front need to be moved to the back. My pikemen are losing morale quickly. General, I need you over here now. Oh, wonderful flank fire into that. Uh, same here, actually. The guard pikemen will hold. The Irish unit will turn. Actually, I will retire them. Here comes the general, ready to support. Finally, he comes to support the uh, Tercio, which have, oh, at this point, for. kind of completely fallen apart. Okay, the guards reserve brigade fell, you know, into utter disrepair. The general is here to support, he's here to rally the troops. We've got an absolute mess of pikemen, sword and bucklers and everything fighting over there. The gunners need to be moved to the flanks, don't they? The general will stay here though. Can I get the Irish to march as quickly as possible over here? Guns are getting overrun. We'll set up the troops here. You will move to the flank. Preferably, I'd uh, be able here to get some troops to support our men are running for oh this side here almost faltered we need to strike here if the cent if the center folds there's not much i can do Matchlock Musketeers. I can charge them with my general unit. Hold fire, I think you're uh, upsetting this unit. Good fire coming from over there. The Irish are moving in. The general is charging this musketeer unit. Our men are running, sir. Who's running? Oh no! It is the flank there that is falling apart. The general is upset of his disposition. You know what? No, the Irish pike needs to come towards the center. We can, I think. Yeah, we're we're losing hard now. I'm not too interested in that, and we can't fire there. Can I fire towards the enemy general? It's risky. And I will be shooting through my own men here. Which could cause quite a bit of st stir in the ranks. Pikemen destroy those. We have killed their general, sir. Now they Wonderful. Must break. Now is where we can turn it. Let's rally the troops here. Um, one of these units need to be moved out. You need to just hold your fire because you're in an awful position. Move on this unit. Uh, Irish troops over here. Irish pikes. For. Irish pikes forward you are not gonna charge my general we're moving through here so for some reason 
the Spanish morale, I guess it's because I've ch very poorly chosen very poorly when it comes to the troops that I've taken into battle here compared to the French. It could be that such legendary units as the Swiss Pikes and the Musketeers might have you know added to just the um, morale of the enemy army. Holy shit. You set up and fire. Okay, I want you to switch the round shot. Target that unit there. Just like the last video, it's an absolute slaughter in terms of uh, in terms of the casualties here. Our general almost. Oof. rest of the enemy general is getting shot up. So once again, a very one close fight. Okay, one unit's out of ammo. Maybe no surprise there. Irish pikes forward. Pikes forward. I'm surprised the sword and buckler men survived. I think the gunning for my general, a lot of shots are going over the enemy army hitting my general's unit. Our men are running oh, I for. just, I just inspired him. Any routes, great. You're out of shot, charge the bloody cannons. Why aren't you firing? Supposed to bounce shot towards the enemy. Irish heavy pikes closing in on the enemy. Uh, my uh, pike unit over there routed. Our Maybe not great firing as these pike units slowly marching in. Let's move you on the flank then. And then you quickly moving up here. We still have a definite risk. Oh, you're out of shot, are you? Can you switch to canister and hit these before they hit our unit? Oh! We failed to attack the cannon? Our uh, Irish Pike might just lose this fight. No, they, w they were able to win. Good, 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 good. Right, let's turn these around. Our pikes over here run into the cannon. We've got quite the fight over here. Glorious but we were able to win there as well. And I think that's it. We were victorious. But damn, it was a lot closer than I had envisioned. Holy shit, what a slaughter this was. So yeah, I haven't really been able to figure out how to effectively uh, play this as of yet. But uh, that will come. And I'm sure there will be quite a few changes before we actually come to doing a campaign in this mod. Here's the result of that battle. We deployed equal enough troops. 70 men more for the French. In terms of losses, they're quite equal as well. Uh, the French managed to lose 400 men more than I did. Uh, very few team kills, about 100 on my side, if you compare the losses to what the enemy killed. And similarly on the enemy. When it comes to the highest killers, we come actually to pikes for my side. Two of the center pike units, manage, all pike units actually end up in top, so all the pike units out of the Tercio was able to kill 200 of the enemy, so... Mm, but it's still kind of a ratio 1 to 1, basically, for all the pikes. Except for the Irish pikes, but then again, the Irish pike didn't go against enemy pike, but went straight into musketeers. 
Uh, pretty good stats for the sword and buckler man as well. It's a one to one ratio. Um, not so good for the guard pikemen, but then again, they were fired upon quite a lot and outmaneuvered, and I kind of left them to die. Uh, when it comes to musketeers, didn't do much. We got this Irish pike also, didn't do a lot. Uh, 75 loss, 82 killed. Um, a King's Musketeers also, you know, mismanaged uh, that sort of brigade, reserve brigade, which I originally had thought of them. Um, situated there, they kind of got lost in the source, as it were. They, uh, they got overrun by the French there, um, with basically no use. In terms of the Musketeers, we can see that they did very little damage, but the enemy was, you know, very quickly um, gained ground there on them, and um, yeah, uh, they weren't able to fire a lot. There were a few units here, also very poor performance of all these units. I'm sure the musketeers need to be boosted a bit, because right now... It's very heavily in favor of pikes, I think, compared to musketeers. They're not really able to do much. If it was now, I would probably spam an army of pikes and not use muskets at all as a kind of a meta, but that's that for now. Anyways, as always, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.
are running, sir. Victory, sir, is soon to be yours. 